everybody is this keeps dirt speaking so it has been a, quite a while since the last fools and faith rent video that's what i'm titling it because it's based on joker and kasumi sort of thing um arcanas and stuff but uh so i am sharing uh my girlfriend's tweet about well and also because I've been watching a lot of Atlas YouTubers talking about this topic, so it's quite a few of them. Well, at least one, notably uh, David. I uh, forgot his name, but he's like a good Atlas tuber. Um, so basically, there have been like rumors of rumors without really validating or checking whether that's true or not. So it's like Persona 3 supposedly getting like a remake remaster. And supposedly there's a Persona 6 in yeah. the works. And I'm gonna, we are making this rent to sort of just once and for all. I'm probably not gonna be the last person that, from Matt, that covers Atlas stuff that I'm probably gonna cover this, but it's probably worth covering because if there's one thing I don't like or I don't appreciate, it's misinformation. So that's why we're making this video. So, um,. So here, I'm just going to paraphrase what B.O. Joker FMC has said. So I'm just going to be like, so basically, <clears throat> so I highly doubt the, I highly doubt the Persona 6 and remaster of the Persona 3 rumors are true. If the production was correct, correct, everyone's would have heard about in the 25th, would have heard about that in the 25th anniversary. And I said something around the I'll set something around the lines of that things can change. I didn't really go deep in that, but and I even said this point, nothing is set in stone with the rumors currently being stated. And then this person right here says Persona 6 rumors is definitely true. Um where's the proof on that? Cause it started development since last June. Again, where's the proof of that? The Persona 3 Remake will be pretty pog, because it might include the best parts of Portable and Best. Uh, where's your proof on that, buddy? <laughs> but I'm going to let Fem FemMC sue me, my co-host, sort of take, kind of say herpes, because this is her post. So do you want to like get into what exactly is the misinformation? I think I got into the baseline on that, but do you want to like elaborate more on yeah. that? So, the reason why I highly doubt the rumors are true is because of there's copyright paperwork that they have to make, which by law, it would be in the copyright system. So yep. if Persona 6, let's say this, was true, it would be in that system which is I think everyone can check it I forgot the website because I exactly know there is two more two more Persona 5 games coming out don't know when because of that data uh, there was no yeah. mention of Persona 3 remaster or Persona 6 in that copyright paperwork that you can easily check online. I just want. I just want to note that Atlas has a company research. in terms of their. And those people who are saying it's true, can you at least show proof? Yeah. Can you show the show me the proof? Like, because I haven't heard anything about it. When I when usually when I have something to just say, I'm always stating that this is probably like if i don't have the facts in front of me i always say like probably true because i'm that would basically indicate that i'm not sure so it's like when you're stating something like oh it's definitely happening that usually means that you're confident that 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 that, that, that that's happening um and if you have that confidence surely you have the, the you know the proof to back it up and yeah. this person, I guess, I don't know if he's either confident or just sort of just getting some some kind of conversation going, but it's... <laughs> it came to the point where it, 
If there is a counter argument, can you guys at least show proof that what you guys are saying is true? Because I do, there are rumors also going around that there is an SMT uh, crossing with, was it Fire Emblem? Yeah, that was dispelled and it was made to be Tokyo Mirage Sessions, but it's like, um, in a way, if I remember correctly, it was in part of Atlas's thing, but then their advertisements were just kind of implying that it's something like that. It was in the works, but not necessarily a true crossover. Uh, and that's sort of like the scary right. thing about a oh, good... That's the scary thing about social media, gonna... because yeah. information travels so fast. Sometimes to the point where it's like before we even know all the facts. So it's like if information is spread like in chunks. And even Tesla has warned me about this before. Because don't jump the gun on your reactions, or if you're gonna react to it. Or if you're like a YouTuber like I am, react to it in chunks, and then if there's like an update, then update. Just, you know, don't pretend that you know it. And then later find out that maybe you're wrong. And if you're wrong, then you're gonna have to admit that you're wrong. And it's like, it's a whole slew of like, uh -huh. you gotta wait and see for news to develop. Yeah, basically. I'm not gonna deny, Atlas is probably working on something. Do note self, Atlas has more than just the pers Sona, SMT, and Devil series underneath their belt. I was actually shocked to know that they have more games underneath their belt than I thought. So yeah. they could be working on one of, like, I think it would... They could be working on many of the other series that they have. Yeah. I, I mean, Atlas is not a stranger to shy away from stuff. Like, and also, like, they have a lot of games under the belt. Like, we're talking about, besides Persona, we're talking about, like, Trauma Center, which is basically, by the way, the first Atlas game I ever, you know, played before I even know what, who Atlas as a publisher was. Um, there's also, you know, Devil Survivor, Devil Water. Summoner, you know, of course, you know, the Persona SMT series. There's Under the Etrodo Odyssey. You know, there's so many... Um, games that have there's so few games that I have not even played but know of like Catherine series is the other one it's like there's and the funny thing about most Atlas titles like in some ways like they use like more or less some of some of the games not all of them but a good majority of them uses like the same assets like demons you know whatever it is you know in some different way I think that is also what makes Atlas sort of stand out compared to the competitors because I don't know many, uh, I guess, game series or companies that uses like the same sort of like, obviously like the situation and the ideologies are different, but like the same kind of like creatures that you always interact with, like Jack Frost for example. Do you want to add to that, um, Femsy? <laughs> Yeah, so, yeah, Atlas is working on a new game. I don't know if it's going to be related to Persona. Yeah. And I do know since SMT, since it's, a, since it's SMT's anniversary, they also might be working on a spinoff of SMT. Yeah. The, uh -oh. the whole point is, like... A Persona 3 remake and a Persona 6, you know, if something like that were to be happening, we would we would we would have already found out about it by now through the 25th anniversary. But the fact of the matter or is, we the, got ports or the countless events that they're happen that is happening currently in Japan. Yeah, and it's like game development. No matter what it happens to be, I don't care if it's Persona or SMT, Pokemon, whatever it is, it's a something. It's something that you, the consumers, cannot dictate and control. It's gonna be ready whenever it gets ready. So if there's gonna be a teaser or trailer gonna come out. You would have to just use your logic about like when things are probably gonna 
And I say probably because we don't know when that will happen, but it's like realistically just look for like, oh, inklings of stuff like, and make sure that whatever that you're looking at happens to be a reputable like news outlet usually like Persona Central for Persona, for example, or Anime News Network or, you know, any of those sort of like, you know, news outlets, even though I know Anime News Network is a bit controversial at times, but it's like, it's still official news outlet. If you, if you guys look at something like some maybe third party, uh, you know, news outlet, chances are maybe they're full of it. You never know. And that's like, if you randomly look buzzwords on Twitter or Facebook or whatever that happens to be, be very careful on like what you come across and not be like, oh, this must be true because chances are it's not double triple well i would say at the very least double check your sources before hitting just, the share button yeah go ahead just, just count your chickens before they're hatched basically <sighs> mm -hmm. yeah no because you're good don't be like that person that says i've been down that they're right and find out you're wrong yeah <laughs> yep and also yes, like I've don't been in that situation and also and don't be sucks. surprised and this is going back to like hype speculation N the smash community is very notorious for this um if you and even i don't know, admit there's some speculation that i want to come true but th it's just that it's speculation but like um don't be surprised if whatever you're hyping for no matter how you get the information ends up not coming true at all because some things are just not in the pipeline because there would have been some inkling of indication like Tessa I'm sorry like FEMC has mentioned uh, you know documents that would have been an indication right there and the fact that there's no documents like that oh well oof you know you're it, just grasping all, grasping on straws it, good it's all right for you to call me by my real name and by the way everyone else who doesn't know me please just yeah call me i guess call assist, call please. her well it's a race we're showing your profile call 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 my co-hosts whatever you see in her <laughs> di display name at this point i'm usually trying to call her like femsy because we usually we usually have like the discord reaction images to sort of highlight who we're using at a time so go ahead and uh so that's why I'm trying to call her Femsy or whatever character that she's comfortable with. I'm, I try to get into that habit, but yeah, sometimes it does slip out, as some people have pointed out. I'm not going to get into that now, but yeah. It, it's, it's fine. You can call me by my real name. A lot of people don't have that permission, though. Yeah, and I even made it clear. I even showcased my name Feel f like for my audience. Feel free to call me Keeper if you want, or Keepster. Um... Though I appreciate if you got if you know me personally on a personal level, just kind of like a side note, don't reveal that because I don't want that information leaking. But that being said, uh, I guess we're gonna go into the final because we're all like, I think, let me see, we're like, wow, almost 14 minutes in, 13 minutes close past 13 minutes in on this rant. So, final thoughts on like, I guess, misinformation on Persona News that we recently got. Uh, Tessa. <laughs> Just get your information from a credible source, not on Twitter or Facebook. Because some those people can lie really easy. Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. And like I said before, just double check your sources. Make sure wherever you're getting, hearing it from, reading it from, is from a reputable source like the ones I mentioned, like Persona Central, for in this case, for the Persona. If it's not coming from Persona Central, I'm most likely not going to believe it. So, that being said, this your been your host, Keepster. Be gone, your demons. Uh, do you want to say goodbye, Tessa? Bye. Uh, yeah. Anyways, take care, and uh, I'm probably gonna stream portable in uh, maybe in uh, maybe in like 
8 o'clock or something, like uh, an hour from now. Anyways, take care. See you guys. While you just prattling, no time for me, no tangling, hit you in a spot with no angling.